Hi guys, it's Damon Beeson here, and today we'll be wa talking about the um, Logan Paul because I addressed uh, both of them in uh, part one, the Idiot Brothers. Go watch that if you haven't seen it; it's a great video. I that I think. Um, I will say it's alright. I will. It's it's kind of weird. I mean, that what both of them transition to. I mean, Jake Paul's still the cringy guy that he is today. You know how he was. And Logan Paul recently um, changed his life, I will say. Okay, let's get in the video. <clears throat> Logan Paul. Almost millionaire. A may, um, okay content, I will say. Um, a lot of weird stuff he's gone through, I will say. I mean, he went to film Dead Bodies to making a whole Olympic thing, you know, like a whole Olympic game, I will say, Challenger Games, I'll be talking about that later, but, um, I will say it was, it's pretty funny how he transitioned, and, I mean, he went to a really big idiot that went from nothing, you know, like, he was just, like, doing everything for views and didn't care about you, to now he's kind of caring more about the fans that he's watching, and, you know, he wants to do something, you know, and I will say, I thought it was pretty cool. He started going to build, and I felt that he was really sad that what happened to his dog and everything. But, um, yeah, um, he's a great guy now. I mean, he's an all right guy. He's still, you know, kind of weird. But let's talk about what he did to get better. He, um, he went to different things. He was really nice. He, um, he changed his personality a lot. He stopped hanging around people. That was encouraging him to do stupid stuff. And then now people that, you know, that really do a lot of nice stuff for him. But, um, that, sorry, I will say he's a good guy. I will say for now. But, um, who knows what will happen later. He's an alright guy. He's a nice guy, I will say. But, you know, could change his personality a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, let's talk about the Challenger games that he did. And then, <sighs> he... God, you know, um, Toby from the Sidemen, well, was in that challenge, he, sh I, s I felt like he could have won, but apparently he didn't, Jake Paul, you know, um, yeah, I thought it was just kind of funny that would happen, but, um, yeah, but the thing that I don't like is that, you know, a lot of YouTubers was in, I thought that was cool too, but, if you can do something like that and get a whole stadium, at least you could do is build like a nice, like, top three stadium or something like that. Because what he did is he got it inflatable. I mean, if you're going to do something good, don't make it inflatable. But that's not talking about that. I'm trying to talk about what he did to his success. He's been on many talk show hosts. I think he has one for himself now. He's been really better to people. I know I've said that, but I'm going to say it again. He's alright, you know. He's done a lot of stuff, but, um, yeah. <sighs> he's alright, you know, he's doing good. Let's talk about his major boxing match, let's say now. who this is gonna be surprising. His boxing match. He went to, like, he got a guy that, you know, wasn't really the greatest, I mean... He didn't care about the YouTubers. He wanted real boxing. He didn't want, you know, because in the first match, you know, he just fought and had gloves and stuff like that. It was alright, but, you know, it's whatever. He's an okay guy, I will say. I mean, he's done better. But, um, you know, he's alright. But, gosh, now, you know, the guy's just like, hey, let's do this and do this. We made a compromise. We showed what the fans really wanted, and I'm happy we did that. Apparently, there's a video saying that the guy made, <laughs> he looked like Ed Sheeran and got to do a lot of stuff, but he wasn't really. I thought that was cool, but, um, yeah, a lot of people there, Jake Paul was saying, hey, let's go for it, brother, you're doing great. You know, he did a lot of training, you know, I thought it was funny, because they did a lot of training and then did nothing of it. You know, KSI, he trained forever, and then he just, like, came out swinging like a chimpanzee. You know, just, like, arms everywhere. 
It's like, gosh, man, you're not a man, go around. <laughs> but, um, whatever, he's a, you know, KSI, he's an all right guy. I mean, these Britons, I gotta say, that's pretty cool. But, um, let's talk about Logan Paul now. Logan Paul. He did all right. I mean, he did what he did. He fought, he fought, and he was doing okay. He was weird, though. He's like, kind of, but, yeah. He's all right, you know, but he definitely didn't live up to expectations like everybody else thought he would do. Because, I mean, he did lose the match, I'll say. But, I mean, he he did all right. I mean, he, he did what he did. He, you know, he threw some hands. And I thought it was okay for a fight, you know. But, I gotta say, he, gosh, at least he could do, man, is he got all those people behind you and he lost. And I gotta say, I mean, maybe next time, you know. But he didn't do it for content, he did it because he wanted to help his fans. He didn't, I mean, he did do it for content, but he wanted to help his fans a lot and try and win. KSI, on the other hand, <laughs> he won. But, I mean, hey, he's a good sport about it. He did train, he didn't, he didn't do a lot of trash talking. I mean, the math thing, kind of stupid, though. I mean, come on, dude, you're going to bring math to a conference? That well, but, um... Yeah, the guy lost, but he did do okay. He, he fought, you know, he did what he wanted to do. And a lot of people thought that was good, and they sold out, and it was amazing. But, you know, at least he could have done his kind of win. I'm not, I'm not rooting for anybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of happy KSI won, because, I mean, nobody really liked J looking bull, you know? But, um, it's all right. They both acted out a lot better than they did, you know, in the first conference and stuff like that. But I will say, um, I'm really happy that his transition happened, you know. How he's not the ego guy and doing everything, didn't care about his fans. Now he actually cares about his fans. Logan Paul did a lot to get better on his life, you know. He, um, he's not really cringy. I mean, he still is, but not as much. I will say the guy is okay. He's a good guy, I will say. Yeah, well, that's all I have for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and share if you ever want to. Thank you guys. This has been Taven Beeson talking about YouTubers. Peace.